thanks for joining me on another beautiful sunny weekend here in the Highlands of Scotland. You'll be familiar with this view now if you've seen my recent video with the hermitage up the hill behind. This time we're going along the ridge and up the hill where there's a nice quiet unknown little loch and it's good. The last time I was there a few years ago there's plenty of fish so a little spot fishing while camping and maybe tomorrow I'll be looking to do another Monroe maybe do a separate video on that, we'll see but the time is 25 past 5 the light nights are in a little bit breaking up clouds but the sun's been great all day and uh, the time I got up there set it'll just be a nice bit of time before sunset and hopefully get some good footage for you so please hit the thumbs up if you've liked it, hit the subscribe button for more because there are plenty coming. Cheers! beautiful tranquil isolated spot I was getting a bit of a stitch there on the steep climb I'm near the top anyway I've only been going an hour actually I'm doing good a couple of miles in and I've climbed up a good I'd say at least 500 feet anyway probably more I just tranquil a little bit against the tree sun in my face absolutely brilliant Need some water. Five minutes and then I'll be back on my way. so many tranquil spots up here even here would be a great spot completely secluded and a great view I could stop at every part of the stream every one that I've passed over on the way up just for to capture what it is it's just beautiful the time is of the essence it is now going on to 7 o'clock exactly I climbed Ben Lomond, the Monroe, last year within two and a half hours. I'm really reaching it here and I've probably got the best part of an hour left looking at where it is now. I found the trail I should have been getting on further along, but I'm getting over there anyway, nothing to worry about. But uh, with all the weight, some of the, the parts have been getting up, it's like 60, 70 degrees inclin inclinations. Uh, I'm really getting dehydrated and that, but I don't want to keep taking the kit off. I'm basically going to keep going, and when I get to the top, I've got some Lucas Aid, some sugary sweets and things, and then a good meal once I set up. As tempting as it is to stop and just enjoy, I want to get there and get a bit of the rod in the, the water, see what I can catch. It'll be worth it when I'm there. I've just seen my first deer. On a hot day like this, maybe there'll be a lot more up there. And further into the hills takes you to Rannoch Moor, Black Mountain Estate, and then eventually to uh, Orkey, over Orkey and things, which is down there anyway, but at the Bridge of Orkey, that's what I'm thinking. So uh, it's a great, great hike over all the ridges and the hills once you're at the top to get to those other places. So I better crack on. <laughs> With the sun going down, I almost reached the destination, but with the fatigue, the tiredness, it was time to pitch the tent where I was and deal with the journey, what was left in the morning. Well, 
Well, good morning. Uh, so, the story so far. My legs were shaking. I felt as if I had a golf ball in my knee pulsating. The time I was reaching this point yesterday. I really struggled to go any further. In fact, when I got to the flat ground with all the gear on, my legs were just... They were wobbling. I had to get uh, pitched. I pitched this tent. It must have been close to about half past nine. I honestly don't know what happened last night. Or I don't know what happened yesterday with getting to the destination. It should have been a couple hours, which turned out to be like... Like between... Well, yeah, about four... Four hours at least. Uh, the time I got here and I pitched the tent, even the energy trying to do it, uh, I stopped in time. But I'm going to go up to the top of the hill there just to see uh, if I can find the actual loch I was looking for. Because at that ridge, I can already see way down below there's some trees. And all I remember with this lock that I was at years ago was that it was surrounded near trees. I've got the GPS there which I was going to keep for the other hills during the trip. But the way my legs and my feet are, and just my muscles in general, there's no point looking at doing another hill. It's half past six in the morning and I'm just going to enjoy some time up here, get a little bit of fishing, have some food, and then I need to carry all the gear away back down anyway. It'll take at least a couple hours if I get on the right track. So, maybe I'm in rowing another day to see what happens. Last night, I just come straight in. I get in this sleeping bag to stay warm after giving myself a wipe down. And uh, I started, I didn't feel very well. I got some uh, like crisps and that in me, and that kind of helped. I think it was a Lucozade that made it worse just having that empty stomach. But uh, the moonlight last night, there was quite a bit of wind like flapping, but it was probably just the breeze outside. Uh, I know I, I could have got a lot of good pictures or night lapses maybe, but my body just wasn't having any of it. Tossed and turned quite a lot, thinking I would be at least comatosed with my body being so tired. No. Nope. So uh, I'm just going to lie and chill for a little bit, think of what's happening, get some footage and photos while I'm up here, and make the most of it. Time to get some breakfast, I say. I made an attempt walking along just to go up that ridge there. Uh, just with the camera gear. But I've no energy. I need to get some in me. Proper calories here. We have left off. Feel the heat from it here.
So I'm not messing about, I need the energy. Chicken tikka and rice by Wayfarer. Get them from Go Outdoors. Tried to get the beef stew and dumpling, which is great. And not surprisingly, it was sold out. So this is breakfast. <laughs> Supposed to be dinner last night, but I was too tired. The bit of water I've got left, though, is going to fill up the pot noodle. So this is my breakfast. I do have pasta and mushrooms, which is another option. I want to get right in with the, the tikka. Get a good hearty meal. Got some peanuts, cup of soup. Probably have the nuts later. So when there's boil going, get it in the pot noodle. I'll boil some water from the lock just to heat up the wayfarer. Well, that's that's all. Perfect amount, perfect. I do like mine just a little bit watery. I was not sure where we are, but we're right up there. Absolutely perfect measure. Smells good, very orangey. Chicken tikka and rice by Wayfarer. Finally got to the other lock. I literally came from over there, a few hundred yards to the other head and one that was camped at. Time to do some fishing. There's definitely trout in here, they have been for years. Got the rod set and ready to cast. Just using some power bait on the trip. I've got a shovel where I could get the worms, but we try the power bait, give them a treat. <laughs> Now with the wind blowing that way, the bubble should keep going, travelling with the bait, and hopefully we get a bite. The way I remember these trout, they are quite small compared to the ones you can get in the reservoirs that are stocked. And you don't always feel the pull. Some, I think the last time I was reeling in, I didn't even know I had a fish on it until it was in. So uh, they are light, they don't give up a fight really. We'll see what happens. Right yo. It's been a good hour I've been up here. I don't think they're used to the exquisite taste I've been giving them. Maybe stick to the worm which I've always caught up here. But one last pull in just to see. Then it's time to head home while the weather's still good. I've had a great trip away. Finally getting into that solo while camping really going solo and to experience the fatigue, 
muscle fatigue, the pain, and uh, just tiredness and everything that came with it yesterday. Even just putting my boots back on, I can feel almost like pins and needles on my toes and balls on my foot are ready for blistering probably after I get back. Uh, it was a bit more than I anticipated. Very surprised at myself because I'm keeping up with the fitness and it's not as if I'm a stranger to the hills. Uh, but carrying the gear takes it out. But I just want to say thanks to everybody for your continued support. The comments you're giving really makes worthwhile doing it. Having the drone following me with all the kit on for like 10 seconds then to take it off again and put it away. But it's a lot of work. And then the camera, carrying everything, it's uh, it's a lot of work to do the video. If it was just the camping away, it would be something else maybe, a good bit lighter. But uh, it's worth everything when I see those good comments and continued subscriptions and views. So give me the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share the videos to others that would appreciate it, people that you know. Uh, share it on your Facebook, social media if you really liked it that much. Anything at all, it really gives me the motivation to keep doing what I'm doing. I think I miss my calling in life because I really enjoy the creativity. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull this bubble in and then it's time to pack up and head back. The views behind and all around are just stunning, I forgot how good they were. But uh, time to get back to the, the big bad world. <laughs>